I'm Craig Lee. I'm Rob McGee. And this is Real Talk with Rob and Craig. Today we're going to talk about the COVID-19 and what, how kind of an impact it's had on us as a mortgage lender. Uh, Rob has pulled up a bunch of guidelines that have changed, letting us know what you can and can't do if you've done the forbearance that they've, they've offered and the other things. So we're gonna, we're gonna answer all your questions. So please, as you see this, if there's something you would like us to talk about, we'll do this every Thursday at one, one to one thirty. Uh, it's five minutes and we're also gonna put it on YouTube. So you'll see the Lee McGee channel on YouTube. So please tune in and subscribe. Well, as everybody knows, we're kind of on the tail end of this pandemic that's hit our country and it has been industry changing for all industries, not just mortgage. But because there are a lot of people out there who had planned to buy a home or had planned to refinance a home while the rates were low, a lot of times I think people are thinking they missed their chance. That's not true. As we're starting to return to work, the COVID-19 scare is starting to be in our rearview mirror as states are gradually opening back up. We wanted to talk to you a little bit about what your opportunities are, and what you need to know about moving forward. One of the important things is, if you own a home currently and you took advantage of a forbearance option, you can't refinance or purchase another home until your loan is out of forbearance. So it's very important that you get that resolved. And one thing that we wanted to talk to you about, and I think something that a lot of people didn't realize, most programs, when they granted forbearance to you, it means that you have a lump sum payment due as soon as your payment restarts, right? That's true. You have to be, uh, if you went into forbearance, you have to be back to work for at least one day out. Uh, then you have to make sure you're not delinquent on anything because if you are, they're not gonna use that as an excuse, unfortunately. Right. Uh, you know, there's, there was a lot of great things that happened uh, trying to help people. Right. But uh, what we're seeing is your taxes are going up. In Pierce County, Kitsap County, uh, pretty pretty much across the board, there's there's pretty substantial increases in in their taxes. So what we're doing is, for example, on a, on a refinance, a rate term refinance, we're we're saving people on a three hundred fifty thousand dollar loan a full point. The problem is that two hundred dollar savings that they were counting on has been eaten up in their taxes. So a lot of people will see that. And and guys, this is why I want to do it like or we want to do it like this, where it's real talk. You're seeing the, the truth. So it's not going to be, we're not going to candy coat anything uh, because sometimes, I and mean, this is the most important purchase of your life. So we want to make sure that you're, you know what you're getting into. We want to know every, you, you should be educated with every part of your process that you want to know. It's not just about the payment. It's not just about what your interest rate is. It's everything that goes into it. Right. Right. We just, we actually just funded on a loan for somebody who we saved them a lot of money. We dropped their interest rate a lot but a lot of that monthly savings was eaten up in the tax increase that was occurring in 2020. The good news is, if they hadn't refinanced, their payment would have just gone up that amount. So that refinance is truly saving them that money, but they're not appreciating it as much because taxes just went up, but it's still a net benefit. And I, don't, don't let the fact that your taxes have gone up dissuade you from looking into a refinance. You will still save money because the taxes are going up whether you refi or not. It's coming. So what, for the for the people that have gotten uh, uh, furloughed, yeah. I couldn't think of the word, yeah. uh, during this time, if you go back to the same line of work, all you have to have is proof that you're back to work. So we're gonna do another verification of employment and we're also gonna get just one pay stub. One pay stub. It's and, super easy. Yeah. So don't think that, you know, because you've gone through this, you, you can't get a loan because you still can. Yeah. It's going to be, it's, and loans are easy for us because that's all we do. And guys, any questions that you have in the future, please let us know. Please subscribe. We'll put the links below. Uh, and we're here to help. Yeah. Whether you Call use us, us with or not. questions. If you're fearing that you've missed out on the low interest rates, you haven't. They're still low. If you're just now returning to work, call myself or call Craig and we'll walk through a program for you. <laughs> Don't stop trying. That's Zeus. That's our office dog. Uh, and He's that's our time saying that we're wrapped up in five minutes. I'm Craig Lee. I'm Rob McGee. And that's Real Talk.